And this is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are going to talk about which is better, strength versus dexterity. Let's get to it. So a little while ago, I made a video about strength versus magic, and we found out that it really doesn't make a difference which one you choose. They both do about the same average damage once you get into the late game. And in that video, I asked if you all wanted me to do one on dexterity, and many of you said yes. So today we're taking a look at strength versus dexterity, and we're going to take a look at magic too versus all of it since I already have the data. It took me a while to do this one because it took me a while to figure out or to find a weapon that once specced with the keen affinity only had scaling based on dexterity and I finally found it. It is the Guardian's Sword Spear. As you can see here, once you spec it to keen, it only scales on dexterity. So that gets us a solid example of pure dexterity damage once we are specced into 99 dexterity and you can see I'm at 99 dexterity over here. So because this scales with only dexterity, it gives us pure dexterity damage, allowing us to put points into anything else and it doesn't really matter because we are only seeing damage based on our dexterity. I ran the tests on this using the exact same format that I used in the last video. And for those of you who wanna see that video, I'll link it down in the description. You can hop down there and check it out. Highly advise watching it. Uh, so I did the same attacks with these double spears that I did with the strength, the two hammers that I used for our strength test. And I did the test to the same NPCs. And the reason I did it to different NPCs is so that we get a wide variety of data that we can average together. That way it kind of weeds out different NPCs, defenses and stuff like that and weaknesses. So I went over to our favorite test troll. I did a jump attack. I did a normal attack that attacks with both weapons when we're power stancing. And then I did a fully charged heavy attack. So for our jump attack, we got uh, 1,964. For our normal attack, 1,434. And for our heavy attack, 1,366. Then I headed over to the sewers. These guys are great to test on. Did a jump attack, got 1,964. Normal attack, 1,422. Heavy attack, got 1,366. Then I headed over to the old Mogwan Dynasty and I tested on our little uh, Albanaric friends and for the jump attack, we got 2,160. For the normal attack, we got 1,557. And for the heavy attack, we got 1,503. Averaging all of those numbers together, we got an average damage value of 1,637. So with these, we actually did a little bit more average damage than we did with the strength with the two hammers. But I think if I had done this test with the same hammer and it's the best strength hammer, but you can't get them in a normal playthrough or two of them in a normal playthrough, that's why I only used the one and then I used the second best strength hammer. I think we would have probably done the exact same amount of damage. So our average damage for strength was 1,400. 560 and our average damage for our magic test was 1718 so all in all i would say that it's pretty balanced you can't sit there and say that that all oh, magic is the best because it did 1718 and then followed by dexterity because it did 1600 when strength did 1500 because those are your averages for a small group overall you're gonna i mean those numbers are so close together that honestly i don't think it matters uh that's that's the point of both of these videos um, and I figured that was the case but I went ahead and proved it anyway uh, so yeah these are from what I can tell I'm gonna put out a video later I, I I need to do some more spreadsheet work, but from what I can tell these are your best in slot decks weapon if you want to do a full decks build because they are a scaling purely with decks. But once again, uh, I will put a video out about that. There's a bit of a rabbit hole. I got to jump down and a bunch of spreadsheet work that I got to do. But as you can see here, we're averaging an attack power of 790 with these, which is really good. Um, and you can put any Ash of War that you want on them, which is absolutely fantastic as well. So I'm going to do a follow-up video on that. But yeah, for this video, 99 decks versus 
99 strength versus 99 intelligence, it really doesn't matter. Uh, play whatever you want to play, whatever you have fun playing. You're going to do about the same average damage no matter which style you choose to play. All right, well, that's it for this one. Short, sweet video. I hope you all enjoyed it, found it informational and helpful. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching